Alexis and Asia couldn't be stopped today. Just how impressed are you with Alexis uh, in, in her post game? How it keeps improving every game? Um, extremely impressed. You know, Alexis, she puts in, you know, extra. You know, she's been putting in extra um, ever since the year that she had to sit out. Um, so when it's time for her to come in and play, you know, she's not knocking off a whole lot of rust. Um, she's just kind of um, transitioning, playing with a different type of player um, like an Asia Wilson and providing some um, experience in the in the paint. You know, I think that was the, the most appealing thing for us when we decided to take her um, when she transferred. Coach, kind of piggybacking off of that question, you could see after the post game how much those two really get along and like being around each other. How would you describe their chemistry both on and off the court, and how has that enhanced both of their games at the same time, you think, during the action? Well, I mean, we have a, a pretty close-knit group. They, they really get along with each other. Um, you know, what's, you know, kind of, you know, what you can't, um, anticipate is, you know, the chemistry on the court. Um, but, you know, I think they have uh, an incredible amount of respect for each other on and off the court. Um, so it makes for, you know, them being on the court and looking for each other and, you know, figuring out where, you know, they can make each other better. Um, and it, you know, it's, it's worked out great for us, especially tonight. Don, how impressive was Bianca's defense on Rebecca Greenwell? You know, we, we, you know, we played Duke for a few years now, and no one's ever played Rebecca that way. Um, you know, well, Bianca really didn't have any, a whole lot of offensive duties like uh, Tiffany Mitchell had and, you know, Kayla and Alicia, but, you know, she really locked in. Um, she really locked in on the, on the game plan, and, you know, she grew up tonight, and we can only expect her to continue this and, you know, and grow from it. Don, how satisfying of a win is it when you know that Duke's goal today was to pack it in and keep Asia and Alexis from scoring too much? How satisfying is it to win a game where you just go after what Duke had planned and just completely blow it up? Um, well, you know, Duke is a team that really doesn't make a whole lot of adjustments. They make you adjust to them. Um, I thought with us pounding the ball inside, they, they did make an adjustment, which was to keep the ball out of the high post in the second half. Um, you know, by then, you know, the damage was done, and we were going to continue to do that, whether it was out of transition or our half-court sets. You know, I just thought we did a great job at um, just physically um, not fatiguing. I thought we did, we just ran them around. We, we um, put them in a position where, you know, Greenwell as well as Brown as well as um, Odom, you know, they weren't taking their normal – game shots because they were, you know, as exhausted as we were. And coach, going off that, would you say, like, you've played some big games already this season, but would you say this was your most complete four quarters you played? And if so, why do you believe that's the case today? Uh, by far, the best 40 minutes that we've put together, um, just locked in. And it doesn't mean we played perfect, um, but there were longer stretches in which uh, we, we executed. Um, I mean, this team was locked in, and, and, you know, we could have easily said we didn't have this person or that person and felt sorry for ourselves, but we're, we're not that type of team, you know. Our team really feels like uh, we're always going to have enough to win a game on any given night, um, you know, how we respond um, our next game. Because if they can play this way and lock in for 40 minutes, this is, this is who we are. This is what our, we want our identity to be. Coach, you've been unhappy with the defense all year, probably the best defensive game. What changed? And then at the beginning of the fourth quarter, when you had Asia and Ty on the bench, uh, Kiki really came up big. Can you just talk about her performance in the defense? Kiki, this is, you know, Kiki has been terrible defensively. Um, and, you know, and we, we've been just kind of communicating with her about giving us something. You know, you got to give us something, Kiki. Um, and she put together a great, complete game for us. Um, you know, I think it's, it's really important that um, Ty is, has a, you know, has a huge responsibility in getting our team locked in. When she's locked in, like she's played her best game today, today, just running our basketball team, not worrying about anything else besides making sure everybody's doing their part. When she's giving us that, everybody else, you know, especially someone like Kiki who, you know, you know, Kiki likes to think about a lot of things all at once. Uh, but the game slowed down for her tonight on both sides of the ball, and she was able to, you know, give us some great minutes. On the side, 
Um, how important was it uh, to get Duke's front court into foul trouble with Aaron Mathias fouling out and Jade Williams and Madison Trees both finishing with three fouls? You know, for us, it, it, it didn't even matter, you know. We, we didn't really concentrate on getting them in foul trouble. We knew it would work, you know, with whoever they had in the game. Um, you know, so it just so happened that, you know, we put them in a position to foul us. Um, we knew just our, our high-low, you know, our ability to carve out some space in the paint, um, our ability to drive from the high post, all of those things were things in which uh, we felt like, you know, we had the advantage. That was our strength um, to win this game.